And a very warm welcome to Crafters TV. My name's Ben Mosby. Thanks for joining us as we get ready for another Craft Along, a show where we give you the opportunity to uh, take product that you might already have and craft along with us in real time and make a project. If you don't have the current product that we are looking at today, you've got the opportunity to jump in and grab it in this show. And then, of course, you will have the show to come back to once your product has arrived. So it's win-win all the way here, really. Um, so do make sure you join us. As you can see from my side of the studio, somebody, somebody has set up some bits and pieces for me here to have a little bit of a go. So we're not going to concentrate too much on me. However, I will be attempting to craft along. What you need to do is just concentrate on what's happening over the other side of the studio with the man who is leading this amazing craft along with the fantastic cluster lift eyes. It's the one and only Craig Laird. What you put all this here for? This is, shouldn't this be there? Well, I thought we've never actually done a craft along together, Ben. No, we haven't. No, me no. and you, never done it together. So I thought, do you know what? Do you know, you know what I'm like with the craft alongs? I always like to rein my craft alongs in. So maybe you are at a beginner's level. Maybe you're a beginner when it comes to a craft along. We keep it nice, we keep it neat, and we keep it simple. But then we give it a twist with a little bit of concept. This one here, we're going to do a little bit of colouring. So all the tools, I'm going to read them out just in a moment. I've got all mine ready to go. And what I have done is I've ransacked the other studio, Whoa. and I've got another set for you so that we can be crafting along yeah. within this show Ben so you're already good to go I've got you everything but if you are watching from home and you are crafting along in real time or at a later date this is what you're going to need now if you want to make exactly what I'm going to do here we're going to need I'm using the cluster butterfly die you might want to change it but that's what I'm using now you're going to need one of your sentiments from the vintage butterfly set we're going to need the vintage blue blend from the tri blends we're going to need our waterproof ink pad now it's flagstone it could be noir black it's entirely up to yourself I've gone in for the dark blue gray linen card from the hydrangea collection yeah you're going to need a sheet of silver mirror cardstock you're going to need our white cardstock and then you're going to need some gems I've taken them from Venetian Grace but you can take them from wherever you want now the additional items that you're going to need we've got the G2 there but myself and yourself we're going to be using our MIDI I'm going to be using or we are going to be using the large guillotine we're going to be using our score master we're going to need some scissors we're going to need pokey tool it does say there all-purpose glue, you know what I'm like, we're not going to use that, we're going to be using either a tape runner or of course your double-sided tape, but you can use it if you want. We're going to be using tacky glue and of course we're going to be using foam pads to lift and elevate the actual cluster die. So that's everything that you're going to need if you want to make exactly what me and Ben are going to be doing. But again, you might want to change it, you might want to do it onto a larger card, smaller card, it could be a box, it's entirely up to you. But if you are a beginner, I like to think that this is going to be the perfect craft along for you to start with. Well, marvellous stuff. I'm looking forward to it, actually. Uh, it should be fun. Uh, if you are watching, obviously, live, get your bits and pieces out and uh, get crafting with us. Um, and if you haven't yet got the goodies, why don't you pick them up during this show? Uh, the Cluster Lift Eyes Showstopper Collection is still available. Lots of options for you here as far as buying these are concerned. If you want to kind of buy individuals, you can. If you want to just go for the brand new dies on their own, you can. However, if you want the Showstopper Collection, that's the best way to go. When we launched these, the majority of people went for that because you're getting a whole host of extra goodies uh, for a fraction of the price. £56 or uh, 86.40 will get you all of the cluster lift dies. So I'll quickly show you all of the designs that you're going to be getting uh, here. Um, I think I might be working. Which one are you using? So I'm going to use the butterfly that I've used originally. So I think I might use the dragonfly. Go for it then. All right. So you've got butterflies and dragonflies in here. There's that beautiful butterfly. Um, there we go. And then you've also got in here um, beautiful stars where you can lift out the points of your stars. You have got the um, dragonfly there, which I think I will use. You've also got the hearts in there, which I think is a really cool idea, something a little bit different. And I um, always say this, I know, but go back to the launch of this and watch Craig's first demo with the hearts because it was mightily good. And then you've also got two choices of floral in there as well. So if you want to go for those individually, that one there is called your bouquet cluster. 
and then this one here is the beautiful floral cluster now you get all of those within the collection the brand new dies if you want to go for those as a bundle you can however if you go for the showstopper you get all of the added extras as well and it's a really lovely curated bundle this actually had a good think about this our team to make sure that everything in the set is going to work nicely with the dies so the pokey tools are going to come into their own as you'll see over the course of the craft along with craig low tack tape always handy to have lots of that for taping down things like your stencils and your dies you've got all your card stuck in here as well so your 60 sheets of your um card everyday kind of stuff that you need alongside that beautiful 12 by 12 uh, regal rose gold glitter pad you've also got the corresponding cardstock in there to match up with the glitter two tape pens one of which is a dotty tape pen always very handy uh, and you've also got your firelight shimmer spray included in there too great value for money i think you'll agree uh, but as i said if you want to go individually you can make your own little mini bundles you can or if you just want the dies on their own absolutely you can I think we've given you enough time to get all your bits and pieces together, so let's dive headlong into it. <laughs> He's never done a craft along with me. I tell you what, we're crafty besties. By the end of this show, we could be crafty enemies, because I'd be like, what's that again? What, what do you do? Where do you measure it? Mm, well, I'll be asking lots of questions. Well, let's just say that was a cracking main event last week at WrestleMania, so that might be the main event. That's it. We might be coming together, and that might be ended. You just never know. But let's get started. Just to say as well, just before we do start, you'll have seen across on my Facebook page, I've got the instructions there written. So when you see the instructions, I'm going to say this for all of the team here. Yeah. When we post the instructions the step by step, please feel free to copy, paste, and print them out. You can absolutely do that. That's why we put them up there for you to use time and time again so you'll find them there but let's get started so we're going to get started Ben with our yep. guillotine. guillotine let's take our guillotine here and we're going to go in with our white card stock so I've given you a couple of sheets here I'm just going to go in with one of them for now yeah if we've got well, it's it is just the one I thought I had two stuck together there so let's open up our guillotine so we're going to then cut this Ben to 11 and a half inches okay so we're going to go 11 and a half inches so we're going for that elongate that long length there at 11 and a half it's only a tiny sliver isn't it it is yeah you're, you're going to be left with maybe about a quarter of an inch that's all that you're going to be left with yeah we're going to turn this one around yeah. and we're going to cut that to six and three quarters of glasses. an inch and then we're just going to cut six so then three quarters. we're going to be left with about round about an inch so these are the two bits that we're not going to need. So that is what we're going to be left with. So once again, lengthwise, that is 11 and a half inches. Yep. Turn it around, and now that's going to be six and three quarters. Now, although I have put the score master on the list, and that's what we're going to use, Ben, mm -hmm. you could, if you don't have oh, a scoreboard, yeah. you can use your guillotine to score what we're away to go and score just now. Okay. So you can see here that we've got our score. You can do that within the guillotine, but as it is at the moment, what we're going to do is we're just going to use our score master. So let's bring that one in, and then we're going to go up to the box, le uh, box lid side. Yep. So that is your true accurate side, being the box left. Yep. So we're going to pop that right up to the side, and then we're going to score yeah. at five and three quarters. Five so and three quarters? Five and three quarters. Now, you're going to have to remind me here, how long, uh, how long is it? Is it five? That's five and a half. Yep, so you're going to be... so. Five and a half inches, yeah. and then you're going to go two lines in. Two lines in. Yep. Okay. So essentially, that's going to be one, two, three, four, five. So it'll be five and six eighths, if you're thinking of it that way. Yeah. But five and three quarters. Yeah. So to reiterate, and I always like to keep reiterating, 11 and a half inches. There'll be a lot of reiterating with me crafting along, I tell six you. Six and three, uh, sorry. 11 and a half inches, six and three quarters of an inch, yeah. and we're scoring at five and three quarters. Yeah. Fold that over, now that gives us our card blank. Oh, nice. We're going to use our score tool or your bone folder to give it a burnish, and there's a card blank. Yes. Good to go. So if you struggle with card blanks, different sizes, create your own and then take your envelope maker, and then you can create your envelope to Perfect. go with it. So let's set that out the side for now. Yeah. And then what we can do is let's bring in another piece of the white cardstock, Ben. Yeah. And we're going to use our guillotine once again. Okay. So we're going to get that. Go, he goes at a pace, did he? This Craig. Speed, <laughs> come on, come on, keep going, so keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah. What we're then going to do with this one is we're going to cut this one to five inch. Five. Five inch by six inch. 
Five. So we're going five by six. So by six. five inch by six inch. Yeah. And I'm just going to let you cut that one. Yeah. Let's take these bits out the way. Yeah. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the silver cardstock okay. that I've given you here. Yeah. And you know what I'm like. I like my quarter of an inch increments. Yeah. Good. This is from our luxury silver cardstock, yeah. if you want to know. So, so, so are we going to go five and three quarters by four and three quarters? Is that what you think? Uh, close. We're going to go five and a quarter by six and a quarter. Five and a quarter. Because we're going up oh, we're going a quarter up. of an inch. We're going up a quarter of an inch. So, so what did we just say? <laughs> five and a quarter. I should have printed out the instructions for you as well, yeah. eh? That's all right. Five and a quarter. Five and a quarter first. Yep. Yep. And then we're going six and a quarter. Six and a quarter. Yep. So that's five and a quarter by six and a quarter. Yep. That then means we're going to have our perfect quarter of an inch matting layer yeah. all the way round. Yeah. And we can pop that to the side for now. Okay. And then we're going to take that blue grey tone of linen cardstock yeah. from the Hydrangea collection. And we're going up again. And we're going up again. We are indeed. We are then going to go up to five and a half. Five and a half. By six and a half. Okay. So five and a half inches by six and a half inches. Six and a half. Which then that means is going to give our silver card that matte and layer. Yeah. See? Yeah. Check you out. Yeah. Look at you. On yeah. the ball, aren't you? On the you? ball. I'm keeping up as well. You're keeping up. You are. And then there you go. There is our layers that we've got. Okay. How fab is that? Looks good. Fab. That is our basis. So let's take that one. And yeah. then what we're going to do is we are... Uh, we're not going to mat and layer it just yet. No. We're going to pop it to the side just so that you can see here. Then that fits perfectly onto your card blank. Boom. All works. All worked. Boom. Right, let's take another bit of that leftover white cardstock that we've got here, Ben. Right. And then we're going to bring... I've moved the guillotine out of the way, but we still need it. And for this one, mm. we're going to cut two and a half inches. Two and a half. So two and a half inch here. So line that up to two and a half. And then five and a quarter. Five and a what? Five and a quarter. Five and a quarter. So two and a half inches yep. by five and a quarter. Yeah. And then that is our white cardstock. And that's what we're going to do our die cutting on. Figured it out, yeah. Yeah, figured it out. Yes. Good on you, my man. Good on you. Okay. Now, before we do the die cut, let's take... Mm. Now, if you're following the steps that I've given you, I've written it the steps that we're going to die cut just now. What we're just going to do is we're just going to do our layers while we're here. OK. And then we'll then come and cut. So now that we've cut that to two and a half by five and a half, mm. can you tell where we're going? We're going We're going up. to take the silver and then we're going to go up. Two and three quarters. Yes. By five and three. A half. Five and a half. Yes. Well done. I couldn't done. remember what the next number was. So two and three quarters. Two and three quarters. Yep. Yeah. By five and a half. By five, oh, by five and a half. Which then gives us our perfect mat and layer. Yeah. And then we're going to bring in the leftover piece of the linen cardstock. Three. Yep. By five and three quarters. Yes. <laughs> You're on the ball. He's on the Absolutely ball. Absolutely on the ball. What do we say again? So we're going three inch. Three. By five. Five and three quarters. Five and three quarters. Which then means yes. when we layer all these up together. You've got your perfect mat and layers. You've got your perfect mat and layers. Yeah, you do. Which if I bring that in here, yeah. you will see as it's starting to come together, there's the main layers. Ah. The only layers left to do, and we'll do it after the cutting, is the one for the sentiment. Yeah. But we can crack on with our die cutting. Oh, I feel like I need a break. No, no, I'm only joking. We can, if you, we can if you want, if anyone's needing to have a little bit of a break. Do you want to recap the bundle? Uh, I, no, I'm only I'm, I'm joking. I'll wait, I'll wait sure? till I'm told. I'll you wait sure? till I'm told, yeah. Right, you're going to then bring in whichever die that you want to use. Yeah. 
and we're going to bring in, I'm going to use the folder, yep. of course, because we are going to use the MIDI, okay. but you can be using whatever die cut machine that you want. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to do is I've got this to the exact size here, Ben. Yeah. So you're just wanting to then make sure that you're perfectly aligned over your card. Yeah. And then we're going to take our low tack tape. Oh, uh, okay. I've given you the low tack tape. Yeah, you've sorted me out properly over here. I appreciate that. You're very welcome. I want to make sure that what I had, you had. Yeah. And you could, I could give you everything so you can do the perfect job like I knew that you would. Wow. Well, yeah. Now, you could have your cardstock bigger and yeah. trim afterwards, but sometimes it could be a little bit more difficult to align. So if you cut it to the right size, and remember, you can always tape to your folder or your Gemini plate. We okay. used to just tape in straight to our card, which you can, but there's nothing wrong with taping to your folder. Yeah. So once you've got that aligned, mm -hmm. we're going to then bring in of course, we are using the MIDI. Just to say, these dies will work with any other branded die cutting machine. You'll just need to check either the plate configuration or any other machines that are manual. You can go through plate. the MIDI as well, right? The, if doing what we are doing now, yeah. we'd go through the MIDI. Okay. Yep. So we're going to then run that one through. Now, all of these cluster dies, you're going to have little components that are going to die cut out and then you're going to have the parts that are going to be left in place, the body, the butterfly, or whichever one you're using, and then the wings or the edges will then pop up. So we can take off our tape, yep. take off our tape, and then we're going to peel that off, and we've got the perfect die cut Ooh. with all of the wings from the butterfly or the dragonfly, depending on what you're using. We're just going to pop any of these these little bits out. Let's yeah. take that out and then take that out. And then we've got all of these little bitties. Pop little the bitties. wings up. Oh, well, mine's actually... Oh, actually, no, just a few of the little bits and pieces in the wings need to come out, but... I quite enjoy... Do you enjoy the... Um, what do you call it? Like the weeding? The weeding, yeah. So very rarely, Ben, will you ever see me using a die-cut tool. You'll very rarely see me do it. It's an incredible tool. It's a brilliant tool, but I find it quite therapeutic to pop all the little bits out with a pokey tool. Yeah. So it's not because I don't like them. It's just because I prefer to use the pokey tool and pop them all out. It's really quite therapeutic. Yeah, it is. And that is all the die cutting that we need to do. Ah. So I think what we'll do, Ben, is we can take a little bit of a break yeah. and then what we can do is anyone that needs to get caught up, they can do. And then what we can then also do then is when we come back, yeah. we can then start to do the little bit of colouring. OK. I can... No, it's for, I, I can... I'm just poking up your bits and pieces here. Ooh, it's very... Oh, there's another one. Hi there, you all right? It's do you want me to go over the deal? Eh? Do you want me to go over the deal no, while no, you're popping no. out? It's fine. So, um... I know you're our lead, lead presentation, so... You yeah, know, I can do both at the same time. I think I've pretty much done that. I do. There you go. Uh, um, so, fun this, isn't it? Make sure uh, we're cleaning that up. I don't know whose job that is. Oh, it's mine, is it? OK. <laughs> uh, but, oh, that's a bit awkward. Um, having said that, you guys will know, and you know he's very tidy. If ever I craft over this side, I always clean up. You've seen the evidence on the videos with the vacuum cleaner because you know it's the world's loudest vacuum cleaner. <laughs> you have to put like earphones on because it's so loud. Um, oh, I want to weed out that dye as well in just a second. I'll do that when we get on to the next bit. Anyway, uh, if you want the full collection, and again, how great is it to be able to go away with this um, set and then to go away with a full project as well with Craig? I think it's so good that we do these shows because as much as it's nice, you know, when we do launches and things like that, you know, we give you the projects. Sometimes with those launches, obviously things are very busy. We perhaps can't spend as long on a particular demo as we would like, but on these sort of shows, obviously we can. Uh, and especially if I'm crafting along, I slow things down dramatically. But all of the designs you're gonna be getting in here are uh, beautiful. The two flowers, I think, um, are gonna be very, very popular. If you wanna go individually on these, you can. Uh, but the same sort of thing applies with these. The dyes doing all of the hard work for you. Uh, you're simply then, um, uh, taking it out, popping out all the little bits and pieces, lifting up the petals in this case, and creating really, really fun, uh, really professional looking projects. This one is the bouquet cluster. 
Again, slightly different, uh, the petals, the leaves are a little bit bigger on that one as opposed to the floral cluster. You've then got your hearts in there as well. It's such a cool design. And don't forget, in, you know, when you're um, poking this out, you will have those bits of pieces of the waist left. So if you want to be able to kind of um, piece those back in, you can. If you want to use those as shaker elements, you can do that. Uh, this is the one that I'm obviously using right now. Um, <laughs> Yep, uh, so look at that, way! So that's mine, which is the um, dragonfly, and then last, but by no means least, oh no it isn't, I've left one over here, there's your star, and then last, but by no means least, the one that Craig's obviously working with, uh, is that beautiful butterfly. Now, if you want to go for those on their own, you can, we're obviously concentrating on the, um, uh, the showstopper, We'll show you the price in a, in a second, just for the dies on the own, but the Showstopper collection is everything else that you're seeing uh, just here. Look at me, multitasking. I'm weeding and talking. Uh, so you can get all of the other goodies that you're seeing just there. So you've got 60 sheets of your cardstock. Uh, you're also going to be getting um, the... Uh, Regal rose gold glitter cardstock. You've got your uh, low tack tape in there, which you can see is going to come into its own. You've also got pokey tools. Once again, you'll see you'll be using those uh, a lot with these dies. You've got your two tape pens in there as well. One of our standard tape pens, and then you've also got one of our dotty tape pens. So um, handy to have the two. And again, craft room essentials really the kind of things that you don't want to run out of and then also within the bundle we have given you one of our amazing shimmer sprays as well the firelight sparkle um, which i just think will work absolutely beautifully with this set you're making a big saving on this by the way um, and it's just 56 pounds i'm having so much fun here 56 <laughs> pounds for the uh, full collection or uh, 86.40 if you're shopping in the US and you're a Platinum member. If you don't want to go for the Showstopper and you just want to go for the dies on their own, details coming in on your screen here. Oh, this is lovely, this. Uh, and there you go, <laughs> £36 or $40 is the price for all six of those. And again, if you just decide that there are sort of particular dies that you want to pick and choose, I believe you can go individually on those as well. Build up your own Oh, still more. Build up your own uh, smaller bundles as well. Right, I think I'll have to finish that in a minute. Well, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a recap, Ben, of all the measurements that oh, I've done. that's a good so, idea. Uh, I'll let you uh, just pop all these little bits out here. Yeah. Uh, remember, once again, go across onto my Facebook page. You'll find the step-by-steps there as well if you want to then follow with that. But what we've already done so far is we've taken our white cardstock and then I've already, or we cut this to 11 and a half inches by six and three quarters. And then what we've done is we came in and we scored at five and three quarters. That then gives us, of course, our card blank. We've then taken a piece of white cardstock once again and we've cut that to five inch by six inch. We've then taken a bit of silver cardstock and then the silver card, we've cut it to five and a quarter by six and a quarter. We've then taken some of our blue linen cardstock and we've cut that to five and a half inches by six and a half inches. That then gives us our mats and layers for the base of our card blank. We've then come along with a piece of white card once again that we did cut into, die cut into, and we cut that one to two and a half inches by five and a quarter inches. Yep. What we've then done is we then have taken our silver card stock, cut it to two and three quarters by five and a half inches, and then we've taken some linen card stock, the blue linen, three inch by five and three quarters. That then gives us all of these layers here. Now, before we do do any colouring, yes. let's do the last layer, which is the sentiment. So let's bring in a little bit. You can take one of the little off cuts of white cardstock that you've got left, Ben. Yeah. And then for that, what we're going to do is we're going to cut the white cardstock to one and a half inches. So we're going to cut it to one and a half. So let's line that one up, one and a half. Any old bit of the white cardstock. Any bit. Oh. Any bit of the white cardstock. One and a half. So we're just going to go one and a half by two inches. Yeah. There you go. Awesome. Yeah. I can hear you cutting away, getting two, that perfect yeah. cut. We're then going to take our silver cardstock and yeah. we're going up a quarter of an inch. Um. So we're going one and three quarters. So we'll go one and three quarters, maximise the cardstock, one and three quarters by two and a quarter. 
and cut. Yeah. So once again, that silver cardstock. Two and a quarter. Two and a quarter, yep. yep. So it was one and three quarters by two and a quarter. Yeah. Which gives us the one our matte layer. Yeah. And then we're going to take a little bit of the linen that we've got left over. Yeah. And that's going to be two inch yeah. by two and a half. So Jeez. two inch by two and a half. So two and a half. And there's a reason as well, but you know I always like my mats and layers, and there's a reason why, as well as simplifying this craft along, I've purposely done lots of quarter of an inch mat and layers. As you know, when it comes to our crafters TV shows, question that I get asked so many times yeah. is how do you do your mats and layers, Craig, and how do you use your guillotine to do the mats and layers? So I thought this is going to be a perfect kind of 360, a simple craft along for a beginner using the cluster dies, but then we can team that in with repeating the quarter of an inch mat and layer with the base, with the die cut panel, and then the sentiment. Should you choose to do all the layers, that's up to you, but then it gives you that little kind of mini mat and layer masterclass within this craft along. So what we can then do is let's bring in our stamping mat here, and we're going to go in with our stamping platform. Mm -hmm. Now, similar to our die cut layer here, you could stamp your sentiment on a bigger bit of card and then, of course, come along and then trim it afterwards. But I do prefer, and it's personal preference, I like to cut it to the size that I need. Right. So I'm just making sure, yeah, it's all fine. It's all a perfect fit. And we're going to go on to our stamping platform. What now, sentiment are you gone for? So this one that I've gone for is just when the caterpillar thought the world was ending, Aww. it became a butterfly. Aww. And I've used that one because I've sized that. But if you want to use one of the other ones that would fit, Ben, you can absolutely do that. And the other thing as well, I've used waterproof ink pad, even although we're just going straight onto white. We're not doing any kind of water-based techniques. And you'll hear, you know, Debbie saying exactly the same. There's something about our waterproof. It seems to give much more of a crisper, cleaner impression when it comes to that ink pad. Mm. So even although it's waterproof, don't think that you can't use it unless you're doing a waterproof technique. It's a lovely ink pad to be using, and that's why we're using it, because it always seems to give a nice crisper uh, impression. So I'm going to go in, and we're just going to ink up. We're going to ink. Now, the only thing with having it cut to the size is we just need to make sure that we're hovering in position, but that's why we're using our stamping platform, because I can move and we're not committing to pressing until I'm aligned up. So once I'm happy, we can go in, yeah. we can press, give it a really good press, lift. Just when the caterpillar thought the world was ending, it became a butterfly. Aww. And then you've got your perfect, Stamped impression. I've gone for a bog standard birthday wishes. I was going to do you a butterfly, but of course I'm working with dragonflies, so that wouldn't work. Very but, true. But Very true. Wishes, perfect. Well spotted, and I never even thought of that when I was laying out all your goodies, Ben. Yeah. Thank you. Right, let's take. I tell a you break. what. I let's. Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> let's take yeah. our die cut panel here. Yeah. Now somewhere. Within your goodies there, Ben, I've yeah. given you a scrap bit of white cardstock, or even just a bit that you've cut that's yeah. spare. Mm -hmm. You can use that. And then we're going to take our tri-blend. And the reason I've given you that scrap cardstock is because what we want to do is it would be quite difficult to colour without going on that outer edge. Uh, OK. So take a scrap bit of cardstock, yeah. and we're just going to pop that underneath. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to reach over, Ben, and I'm just going to use black card, because it's going to be a little bit easier for you guys to see. Yeah. So if I just chop, it just needs to be a little scrap. But if I take that out and pop that out, there we go. You can see that better now. Yeah. That then means, let's take our vintage blue blend, I'm going to go in with the light tone first, and it means I am, let's put that there, I'm quite comfortable now that as I lay that colour down, yeah. if I go over the edge, it doesn't matter, I'm going over to the black, not onto my back layer. Oh, uh, OK. So we're going in with that lighter tone, and I'm going to do a bit of blending. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I'm going to come maybe about two-thirds of the way from the body of the butterfly just to the edge. I'm leaving that little bit of white, I'm now going to flip 
over to that darker side. Yeah. And we're then just going to add that dark tone. And I'm going to come maybe just about a third of the way there. We're then going to then go into the mid tone. We're just going to blend that out up to where we ended with the light tone. Yeah. And then we can then take the light tone once again and we're just going to finish that off and we're just going to blend that one in. So then that's how we can do the blend and that's how we can colour without going over our back layer. Okay. So I'm going to turn that around and we're going to do exactly the same. So I'm going to start with that light tone and we're going to colour around about two thirds of the way. A bit harder with uh, dragonfly wings because they're a bit thinner. Are they? Yeah, I should have maybe... Oh no, there's only one butterfly there, wasn't there? So I'm, sure, I'm sure we could have borrowed another one of Tracy's set. See you've chosen set. that one to colour. But do you know what? It'll be nice to see how the layers are all exactly the same. The look is going to be exactly the same, just with a little bit of a different die cut. You using the dragonflies. Yeah. And uh, myself using the butterflies. So it'll be nice to see. So we're blending that in. And then we're going to then take that lighter tone. So let's blend that out. So for that largest butterfly, and then this one and this one, I'm going to do the same. We're just going to blend. Now this would be lovely if you want to use, of course, your illustrator pens, you can do that. Maybe you want to use some of your water-based pens. That would look fab. Can you imagine doing the coloring with maybe your sparkle pens? Yeah. That would look fab. All that I would do is I would substitute my white cardstock to my watercolor cardstock. And a lot of people think your watercolour cardstock is only for stamping and colouring. Yeah. But it's still a really good, strong base for you to do your die cutting with. And in actual fact, my watercolour card it has kind of like a little bit of a hammered effect. Mm. So I like using it sometimes just on its own, either as a card base or using it just for mats and layers. Yeah. But if you are wanting to do your water base colouring here instead of your alcohol base, just substitute your white card for your watercolour card. Huh? So I'm doing the same on each of the wings. I'm just going in with the light tone, maybe about two thirds of the way in. I'm then going to go back into that inner body section and colour with the dark tone about a third of the way in. We're going to chop to the middle tone and blend that out. And then let's take the light tone again and just blend that one out there. So you can start to see it lifts and it elevates the butterfly and the wings. So we're going to do that once again. So repeating, Ooh. repeating the steps. Yeah. How many butterflies are you colouring in there? But have any of you got four? So, yeah, so oh, fine. The, the blended butterfly, I'm going to do these three. And then there's another dra butterfly just here, actually. I was going to say I'm not going to do a blend, but I will because I don't want to leave one unblended. So we're just going to go in, into here, work our way around. Quite relaxing this, isn't it? It is. That's the thing with colouring. Once you start, it's really quite relaxing and it's really, really therapeutic. Yeah. It's also one of those, a lot of people, certainly at first, Ben, you'd think you colour in your stamped impressions. This is a good way to show how, you know, colour your die cuts as well. Yeah. You know, colour the die cuts. Or what you could do is die cut this again into another piece of cardstock. Just fussy cut out the body there, release the butterfly out. And then of course you can layer up and get extra depth and dimension. So you've got a lot of creative play with this. So if you are an advanced crafter or been crafting for a number of years, you can take this simple, straightforward craft along, and then you can then start to take it to another level yeah. at your comfort zone. And like you say, with the colouring as well, you don't have to do all the blending. If you just no, you want don't. to take one colour and just colour the wings in, absolutely, I mean, you, that's, that's exactly what you need to do, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Do what you feel comfortable doing. Yeah. But it's also it's a, a nice little confidence builder as well. Because each of the butterflies, they're small, they're yeah. individual, and therefore 
we always say when we're doing a blend, colour and blend in small areas before the alcohol evaporates. Yeah, oh, so it's almost like good practice then, isn't it? It is. Like doing bigger, mm -hmm. bigger images or bigger pictures. It is indeed. So we're just going to then blend that one out like so. And then that is all the colouring that we're going to do. Okay. So we're going to lift that up. And then I think the last thing we'll do before we take just another little break there, Ben. Yeah. How are you getting on with your colouring? I've got three more wings to go, but I'm fine. We, if, we'll probably get, are we having a break in a minute? A break break? Or are we just going to... Uh, are we going to... So... We're gonna carry let's... On. I, I can colour, because we're... We're getting all right, aren't we? We're, we're, yeah. I think, we're, I think we'll be fine. You can always, you can always uh, talk through the deal whilst I'm colouring. Yeah, <laughs> I can come over. One thing I think I do need to do, which you have to remind me of in a second, is the mat and layer sizes for this piece, because I think I've cut into them. OK. But I've got plenty of cards. So You've got plenty of card. Them. We can re-go over yeah, that fine. then. Yeah. Right, well, uh, tell you what, do you want to carry on doing that? Do you want me to have a recap of the deal? Uh, yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah. right here. Well, we go across to Ben then. What I'll do is I'll go across. We'll let Ben continue do you want to, swap places? to finish colour if you want. I'll tell you what, we'll swap over. Do you want to? Yeah. Do that. You bring that over here then. I'll bring that over. We'll let you colour. Yeah. Because then that also gives anyone else that is crafting along in real time that opportunity just to catch up. Because I understand sometimes colouring, although it's straightforward to colour, you know, you might just need that little bit of an extra time. So while we just watch you just for a second. Hi. Finish ben colouring. Murphy, expert crafter and colourist. How are you doing? I, I, I think the reason I'm slightly behind is to say is the wings on the dragonfly are a bit more delicate. A little bit different. The, yeah, so. He says making different. excuses. All right. Yeah, but, but look at that, though. Look at that. Way. Here you go, look, look that way. There you go. Ben, that's fab. Yeah, getting there. That's fab. Thank you. Can you actually put my one just side by side to see the difference? And, and a difference, I just mean, obviously, one's dragonfly, one's butterfly. It's the same size, it's the same colour. Yeah. But it just goes to show that, you know, you've got all six of them, different ones. Yeah. You're going to get that slightly different look. Beautiful. Beautiful. What a team. What a team. What, what a, a team. team. What a team. I don't think we've actually ever done a show where you've properly kind of coloured and demonstrated on that side. No. While I've done this side here. I've uh, only ever coloured once before in a show as well, and you? that was with you, who, who, and you taught me, that's why I feel confident with these, you taught me how to use the tri -blends. The tri -blends. Yeah. Brilliant. Right, well, what I'll do, Ben, is I'll let you just crack on and finish off when it comes to that colouring. We can have a little recap when it comes to the cluster left dies. Now, we've got this one here. So this is giving you the six set. So if you just want the dies on their own, you can absolutely do that, and you can go for that, £45 or $55. If you are platinum, of course, you're going to get them for £36 or $44. But I would say as well, always remember, go back to launch day with myself and Ben, because yeah. we've done paper piecing, but we also use them on the foil press as well. Now, of course, with the foil press, the wings won't die cut out, but you've got all of that fine detail. Actually, it was the dragonfly that I used on the foil press. So go back to the launch day, and then you're going to see lots of techniques with just the six dies on their own. So say £45, $55. You've got your platinum price there of £36 or $44. I will show you the dies individually in a moment, but you might not necessarily just want the dies. You might want to go for kind of like that bigger bundle that we've got as well. What was cater for so many different, of course, levels? Now, with that one, you've got the dies. So maybe you do want the showstopper. The showstopper then, and it's a really, really good one. And what I would say, launch day as well. Go back to launch day because I'd done the demo, the first demo within launch day, whereas I used the elements from the showstopper. That showstopper then, £70 or $108, with a platinum price of £56 or $86. That's going to give you the six brand new cluster liftable die, so you're going to get them, but you're also going to get your three reels of your low-tack tape, your two pokey tools that you've seen us using, you're going to see and use and get your dotty tape runner, you're also going to get your straight tape runner, you're going to get one of your sparkle sprays, you're also going to get your white cardstock, and then your 12 by 12 rose gold luxury card, whereas that's giving you half the sheets which are a shedless glitter, and half of them are like a pearlescent cardstock, so that's then going to give you everything in that showstopper collection there. We always need pokey tools, we always 
greatest need, of course, are low-tack tape. Well, we need a card and our luxury card stock, so that's a really good set there. Let's, whether you're going for them individually or whether you're going for them in the showstopper, let's have a quick look of the actual dies here. The six of them that you're going to be getting, which set consists of the butterfly cluster. So that's the one that I'm using within the craft along. So you've got your butterfly cluster. You've then got your star cluster. Remember, these cut in, so the size of cardstock can be any size that you want. You've got your dragonfly cluster. That's the one Ben's using. You're getting your heart cluster, where you've got all the little hearts that pop out, and then you've got the cluster lift of the hearts. You've got your bouquet cluster, and then you've also then got your floral cluster as well. So that is the six dies. So if you're going for the six dies within the 13-piece showstopper, details on the screen, £70 or $108, with a platinum price of £56 or $86.40. You'll find them across on the Crafters Companion website, .co.uk.com or .eu. Right, I think Ben is just about ready. I think I he... You, I'm um, swap, I swap back over now. Do you want to swap over? Yeah. Right to you. I'll tell you what, well, I'll come to you. And then we can swap over. There we go. I think uh, that was mine. Is that don't yours? Do I need that anymore? Uh, no, we don't need it anymore. Oh. No, oh, thank you. no we're, all, we're all good. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, yes, so what we can now, now do is if we go back to that die cut, so before we actually start to assemble it all, Ben, yeah. I've given you some gems. Now, on the list, so you've got ones close to mine. This is just from my stash, but the closest ones we've got are from the Venetian Grace, if you want to use them. And we're going to use our tacky glue here. Okay. I say this time and time again, no matter how incredible the quality of the gems, self-adhesive gems that you use, I tend to use our friends at Hunky Dory's. Yeah. Sometimes it's um, uh, Crafter Legend on. Maybe it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how incredible the quality are, Ben, I'll still always use tacky glue yeah. to stop them from falling off. So what we're going to do is these smaller butterflies, now I don't know how it will work within your dragonflies, yeah. where uh, you're going to have little sections. But these little smaller butterflies with the solid wings, I'm going to do dot, 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 and dot. On the butterflies? Just within the body of the butterfly. Oh, OK. So I'm not doing it within the intricate die cut, just the solid butterflies there. See, I haven't got any solid dragonflies. I'll stick them around somewhere so nice. Stick them around, and that's the thing. You might want to just randomly stick them around your die cut. You can do that. And then I'm going to go in for a, a kind of like a mediocre gem. If you're using the ones from a Venetian Grace, you do have about, I think it's about three different sizes oh, okay. that you can choose from. I'm using, as I say, the same size, and we're just going to pop them in. Our tacky glue, of course, dries completely clear. So don't worry about any little excess, although I would highly, highly recommend, if you haven't already, check out our crafter's website and pop your call-out glue into the little applicator because it just gives you that uh, perfect amount that you need. We're going to pop that into there. These are just little silver silver gems. The mm. ones in Venetian Grace are giving you that Aurora Borealis look yeah. as well. And then that is us ready to assemble our card. Okay. What I also want to do is at this point, now we're going to flatten it, but then we can just lift it up, is we're going to go in with some foam pads. So we're going to go in with some foam pads here. I'm using our foam pads from our small bundle. Okay. And these happen to be the 7mm by 7mm foam pads within that bundle. You can use our, our larger ones and chop them up. But we're just going to go, where I've got sections, Ben, that I've got openness, mm -hmm. I'm going to go in and pop some of my foam pads all the way around. We're going to pop them there. We're going to go into there. I've got an open area there. Is this just to lift it off the mat and layers? This is just to lift it up, yeah. Okay. Lift it up. What it's going to give us as well as a natural drop shadow against the silver that we're going to sit it on. I'll do that. I'm just going to position them where I can, just so that we're not going to see them through the die cut butterfly. You can use your glue gel if you want to. Maybe you're a fan like Debbie is, you can use your glue gel, you just need to let it dry. Yeah. The only thing that we're doing is we're making sure as our foam pad is not covering 
any of oh, the where lift. Oh, it might lift, yes. Yeah. Otherwise, it's not going to lift. It's not going to work. So once you've got your foam or your glue gel as and where you want, it really is now just a case of starting to assemble. So we are using, I've just got our new tape runners. Remember, this, the tape runners you get within the showstopper is the exact same adhesive, it's just the OG. This is our replaceable ones. So I'm going to use our straight tape runner. Yeah. So I'm just going to crack on, Ben, because yeah. it's just simple well, it's just mats and layers. Now, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, it's just putting it together. I just need to cut another mat and layer for uh, this bit because I um I used the wrong bit a minute ago. You go for it. You um, go for it. Oh, we've put details on the screen for your refills if you want them. Uh, oh, they are coming up for you. We've got the bumper refill pack, haven't we? And I think we do still have in stock the um the ones where you can just buy two as well. So whatever you fancy, maybe you just want to try them out for the first time. Um, you can do that as well. There you go. Details on your screen. 12 pack. They're handy, aren't they? And obviously you, you get more tape in the large ones, Craig, don't you? You do, yes. Yeah. So within these ones here, you're going to get, uh, what's that I want to say? 30 it's metres. 30, yeah, 30. You're getting 22. 30, 30 metres. Our OG ones that you've got, which you've got within the showstopper, you get uh, 22 metres. Yeah. Can I just stress as well, 22 metres is absolutely incredible. Standard tape runners from other... Um, crafting uh, companies out there are around about 10 to 12 metres. Oh, OK. And I want to st stress this as well. Our good friends here in Newcastle sticks to theirs one. Also incredible quality, but theirs are only 12. Right. Ours oh, right. Okay. is 22. And ours, although this is a dotty one, of course, the ours are perfect for construction, for acetate, if you want to use your glitters, if you want to use your gilding flakes. So the ones you're getting in the showstopper, 22 metres, double what a lot of the other ones are but our new ones ben these are 30 meters each so you're getting so so much more so just know that you've still got the quality but you've got the extra length as well yeah so i'm done my sentiment what i'm going to do is before i pop my die cut onto my silver i'm going to layer my silver first and we're going to go on to our linen cardstock. Yeah. We're lifting, and then we're just going to hover. Now, I'm using the tape runner like Ben is a way to use, but maybe you want to use your tacky glue or your all-purpose, like I've popped on the shopping list. You can do that. Let's press that one on. And I'm purposely, and you'll see why in a moment, not sticking that on just yet. Let's bring in these layers using our tape runner, work our way round. And the white cardstock, of course, I've kept crisp, clean and white. But you could do blending around the edges, you could do ink around the edge, that could be part and paper if you want to. And that's the great thing with the craft-alongs with myself, the two Debbies and Becky. We come along with a set project with the shopping list and then you can do exactly what we do. But then if you want to have that creative play, if you want to change it, you might not have the sentiment from Vintage Butterflies, but you've got everything else. So you might change it using whatever you've got. And that's what I always love about our craft-alongs. So let's pop that over the top, and then we're going to press that in. Hold that in, give that a really good press. What you're also doing as well is you're building up the heat within the cardstock, so your, your adhesive becomes even more sticky by building up that heat. Mm -hmm. That now gives us our base and our platform to go onto our uh, card blank. Bring our card blank in. I'm sure someone's nicking my card stuck over here. <laughs> it's all right, don't worry. Definitely not me. Definitely, it's definitely not you. Definitely not me. There I'm we go. I'm a white piece of card stock short now. It's all right, I'll cut another bit. Onto our card blank. Yeah. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick that on first bit. If I stick that on now, turn it over and put my tape on, I'm going to flatten a lot of that. So what to do is just make sure it's all popped up. So pop the wings up and our tacky glue will be nice and dry with our gems. Uh -huh. so let's pop that up. Let's bring in that base, that platform of our strip. We're going to add our tape. Quick question. Yeah. What's that size? I don't know, I think I must have accidentally cut that with, um, when I was doing that. So the white card, yeah. so that is 11 and a half yeah. 
back. No, it's not. No, it's not. It is five and a quarter by six and a quarter. Five and a quarter by six and a quarter. No, it's not. No. It's See, I knew you'd regret crafting with me. It's five inch five. by six inch. Five by six. That's five by six. On the white. On white, yep. Yep, thank so you. So five by six. Then your silver. I've got my silver. It's a quarter of an inch bigger. Yeah. And then your linen is a quarter of an inch Perfect. bigger. I think what I must have done when I was cutting the other mats and layers, um, when you said, oh, grab a bit of scrap, I think I must You've have grabbed... taken it. <laughs> got you. One of those bits and use that. But it's fine. It's fine. Easily corrected. Well, that's it. And then that little bit that you do have left, we can just use that elsewhere on another project. Yeah, exactly. There's our layer. Let's take our die cut cluster die. We're going to take all the backings off now. So you've gone, okay, so that's gone to the side. So blue, silver, white again, isn't it? It yeah. is indeed, yep. It is. Usually, if I'm using a luxury card such as a rose gold or a silver or a gold, I'll tend to put that on the outer edge. But I thought what we'll do is let's mix it up, let's balance it by doing white, silver, then the linen cardstock. So now that I've got all the backing off, we're just going to hover and then we're just going to press onto the silver, press all that in like so, make sure it's nice, it's flat, lift them up. Then the last thing we need to do is our sentiment, but Ben, we need to balance the sentiment okay. because this is lifted on foam pads. Yeah. So what we're going to do down the left hand side, yeah. we're going to add a bit of tape and then let's bring in the same depth foam pads oh, and then we're going to pop these on here. We're going to take them off. One, two, three, four, five. Of course, if you're using larger ones, you won't need five, you'll need less. And then pop that on into the side there. So our tape's going to stick onto our die cut and then our foam pads are then going to balance out onto that drop depth onto the back. And then to finish off, let's bring in some more of the gems. I'm just going to go onto the top right hand corner. I'm going to go one, two, three. And then I'm going to take three different sizes of gems. If you're using the ones from the Venetian Grace, you've got three different sizes. So I'm going to go large, medium, and then let's go in with a small one like so move that in because we can move it because it's on the tacky glue and then that will dry completely solid after a few moments and then there we go there's the original Woo! but then there is what we've just done so if i bring that in for you to see that's using white, it's using silver, it's using blue linen, and that one from the Hydrangea collection. We've used the butterfly cluster dye. We've also then used our vintage blue tri-blend, and then our sentiment is from the vintage butterfly collection. So that's what you can do with the craft along, but let's have a look at some other examples that you can make, because you can still do all your concepts. If you've got our stepper dies, cut into them. Maybe you want to do your z -fold cards. You can do it into your boxes. Now, this is what I was talking about within launch day. I used a foil press, used a foil press, and then die cut the dragonfly into a bit of green card and then paper pieced back in. But we also done, that was the one I was referring to that that was using everything within the showstopper. Oh yeah. Using the hearts, using the spray, but then you can do your inky backgrounds if you want. What about starting to frame a photo or a sentiment? Because these cut into your card, you can do all of your different framework. You can do your side panels if you want to. We can go along and we can use our real bright pattern paper and our fold out cards. You can do diorama cards, theater cards, color in that one there, color in with doing a little bit of background. And then last but by no means least, let's bring in, here's one using a stepper card concept showing how you can use that into your stepper cards. So whether it's simple with the mats and layers, whether it's boxes, whether it's the foil press, whether of course it's stepper dies, whatever ones it is, you can then cut into them, lift them up, and then you can just have fun with your cards and your projects. Ta-da! It's a little bit wonky, but I'm, pre I'm pretty pleased with that. Yeah, I'm excited to view. Whoop. That is fab. Boom. There you go. That is brilliant. Whoop.
Crazy oh. See Craig, see mine. Oh uh, yeah, okay. I like that. Look two, at that. Two great projects, right? Two two great projects. Boom. Well done. Nice one. Um, I had a lot of fun doing that. That was great. I really, really enjoyed that. Uh, don't forget, if you've done the same, if you've crafted along or if you're thinking to yourself, actually, I'm going to have a go at this once I've picked up the kit, um, send in your pictures. You can always send them into the studio, uh, studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk, or um, we love it when you tag us in your pics as well. So if you're on... Um, yeah, waistcoat cut buttons come undone whilst I've been crafting. Uh, if you are um, on Facebook, of course... Uh, Craft, I will craft this companion. <laughs> taking the mickey out of me, Mia. I will craft this companion. Um, send your pictures, put them on there, and tag Craig particularly at Craig Laird CC, and you can tag me as well at Ben Mosby <laughs> CC. Producer Johnny's only just proved a sigh of relief and popped his button off. It, I've still got me button there. It just came undone. Ooh, yeah. Uh, Please that. Right. Uh, so the deal is, let's show you the showstopper. This is the one that everyone's gone for. Uh, while stocks last now as well, because lots and lots of people um, shopping for this. A lot of people bought it in the launch as well, uh, and I'm not surprised. Just something a little bit different, and the effect that these give you is really super cool, isn't it? Like really, really super cool effect, and really easy uh, for you to be able to achieve. Hopefully, as you've seen over the course of that craft along. And I think, you know, sometimes when I do get involved, I slow it down a bit. But I always say, like, if I can do it and I, if I can follow Craig, if I can follow our guys, if I can produce, you know, a semi-decent card, then everybody can do it. And that's the whole point here. Um, the dies themselves, and I'll take you through the showstopper again. So all of these you're going to get. You have got the option, if you don't want the showstopper, of just getting the collection. But as I say, I think the best value for money is to go for that showstopper. Look at all the beautiful designs you're going to get in here. Um, that one is your floral cluster. So there's two floral designs in here. But that's called the floral cluster if you want that individually uh, your second flower design is the bouquet cluster then you've got in here the hearts uh, which i just think is um, such a super die to be added into the collection launch day you'll see craig demoing that one uh, it really was a fantastic demo um, and then here's the uh dragonflies where you can too make a super car just like this Woo! Uh, then you've got I'll show you the butterflies first of all. So the one that Craig crafted with um, is your butterfly die. And then you've also got that star in there as well. So kind of things you'd expect to see in there as far as your uh, flora and fauna are concerned. But then the stars and the hearts, I think, are a really nice little addition to go in that collection too. Showstopper-wise, this is where the deal is really because you think of the kind of stuff that we used over the course of that craft along. low tack tape came into its own so that's going to be really handy um, to stick down your uh, dies and again you know if you're doing a lot of mixed media work if you're working with stencils then absolutely perfect for holding those in place to make sure they're not going to slip whilst you're doing um, your inking pokey tools again you saw those they came into their own over the course of this demo really handy to kind of do all of your weeding when it comes to the die cutting but also great for just manipulating the wings or the petals on those dies into place so no doubt you've already got pokey tools but it never hurts to have uh, a few more of those handy tape pens again getting the choice of those you're not in the choice actually getting both uh, you've got the standard tape pen great for sticking your mats and layers of course um, and also with the dotty tape pen great for those more intricate sticks so once again we've really thought about putting tools in here which is going to aid the uh, use of you um, you know uh, working with this product you've also got in there your um, firelight shimmer spray again something which you might want to bring into one of your demos further down the line and working really nicely with that the regal rose gold 12 by 12 cardstock the glitter cardstock and the matching card alongside that 60 sheets of your standard card as well which you're going to be making your card base out of i would have thought 56 pounds for all of that or 86 dollars 40 if you're a platinum member uh, and as i've said if you want to go individually or if you just want the collections on their own you can shop the website for all of that um, don't forget every sunday second chance sunday is going to be here 5 p.m uk time that is midday eastern 9 a.m pacific uh, with our brand new sunday top 10 it's a lot of fun actually um, you might have seen uh, last week's with the oh, well welcome to the top 10 countdown mate um, whoever does that show has to do the countdown in that voice that's the rule did you not see the email no, I didn't actually. No. Uh, so, you, mm, so you can join in, uh, see if you can guess what items will be in the top 10 and what's going to make that coveted number one spot. Um, and of course, lots more craft alongs to come as well. Craig, I just want to say a massive thank you to you for a fab project and um, really nice, as I say, because I, I always think if I can do something, anyone can do it. And I think you've 
done a project there which everyone will be able to have a go at. Hope so anyway, that was my intention obviously, rein it in, keep it simple, focus on the mats and layers, 360 because it's always a question that I get asked and uh, I think it's worked really well and yours was absolutely fab Ben. Thank you so much, I'm very very pleased with it, uh, might save that for a, uh, a birthday card, whose birthday coming up soon I wonder? Oh my son George. Is it? Yeah I bet he'll love that, eh? He will. <laughs> you love that. You'd be like From that. From dad. You'd be like that. Oh, no yeah, money, money. No money in it. <laughs> thank you so much for watching, everybody. Massive thank you to Craig. Uh, thank you if you did craft along. Don't forget to tag us in any of your pictures, and we'll see you back here on Crafters TV very soon. Bye for now. Toodles.